guys. Thanks for uh, tuning in. I'm Imperial Jedi. I appreciate you making your way on over here. And uh, it's finally time to start a brand new series. I've had uh, quite a quite a bit of requests for this in the last uh, few weeks. And uh, we're actually going to be doing a vanilla series. So no workshop content, no no mods, no assets, nothing. Just that whole fresh, brand new, uh, you know, new car smell right, right out of the box. So I do have the DLCs all installed, so that might make the gameplay experience a little bit different. But no mods, right? So should be a little bit easier to follow along, basically, right? And, you know, these days mods, there are quite a few of them, and if you run a lot, they kind of slow your computer down and stuff, right? So I've had a lot of requests for, like, a non-modded series to kind of show off some, like, tips and tricks and that kind of stuff, too, right? Um, so let's start a new city, like I said. And I kind of had, um, I kind of picked this map of mine already. Green plains, like that. Nice little center island thing here with some rivers rolling on through it. And I'm going to call this uh, Imperious Ravenna. Um, which was the name of my um, uh, city on um, Dantooine when I used to play Star Wars Galaxies, like way back in the day. I was the mayor of a city. It's so funny. Oh gosh. Um, so yeah, let's start this off. And I think Imperius Ravenna is also a, um, a Roman city, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's where that one came from. Anyway, let's admire how fast the uh, the game loads without any mods. Holy smokes, right? It usually takes me like six minutes, eight minutes, ten minutes even. Here we are, like thirty seconds, just blowing on by. Love that. Okay, so I did want to make this um, kind of like a little bit of a tutorial beginner series as well. So I know some of you aren't beginners, and but it's always good to have some, you know, friendly tips and that kind of stuff, right? So hopefully someone will, will help you out. So I'm going to pause the game just to kind of, you know, cut back on maintenance costs and stuff, right? Because when the game's running, when you place roads, you can see these, um... oh, terrible example. Oh, we incur no maintenance costs. What? speed that that's so weird why do we have no maintenance costs okay there they're finally trickling in not instantaneous either way um, once you lay your first bit of road um, that unlocks a little bit more uh, mainly one-way roads which are what we're gonna be using for our uh, highway replacement right now and I usually step down the elevation I keep it at three meter increments when you're going page up and page down the height is not as dramatic right so you don't, you don't have to make bridges that are as tall and it's good for like overlapping bridges Anyway, so I pause the game to avoid the maintenance costs. Um, you do get a partial refund when you uh, erase stuff. Uh, not a full refund, so just be cautious about how much you kind of, you know, lay and whatnot. And first thing you'll notice is that these two rows, they're not even. If that drives you crazy, let's center them out, you know? If not, don't even worry about it. Easy way to do that, though, is just kind of something like this. Even that out. And that way, when you're just drawing, you know, rows like this or whatever, you can make them the same distance rather easily and this icon right here means that we're not going the right way so our lane arrows don't match up so you can see we're both the wrong way and then when that disappears it means we've done the right thing so there we go perfect and then we still have those icons showing down here uh, because these have no end right so if we do that it closes the circuit okay um, I would like a small we have to be efficient right so we're not gonna spend too much money even though it seems like we have a lot uh, I'm going to make a small little uh, industrial kind of starting plot right here. And I want to keep that close to the highway because it creates a lot of traffic, the uh, industrial zones. So you want to have like quick turnover. And then as we get a little bit closer to the water, that'll be kind of where our residential stretch is going to be. And you do want to be pretty efficient just in terms of like running pipes and stuff. So we're going to keep everything kind of, you know, concentrated and, and whatnot. So let us begin. Um, I'd like a 45 degree angle um, road coming out of here. And, like, unless you're using the squares like that to kind of do it, you won't really get the distance and stuff right. Uh, so, easy way to do this, go out by 10 units, which is to that little blue line. That's 10. Um, the halfway point is 5, so you've hit 5 and that blue line shows up. So, there's 5, there's 10. Do a 10 by 10. Connect that. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's do that again over here. We'll erase this for partial refund. And now we're left with a really fast outflow for the highway. It splits efficiently. This splits again. And then we can now, you know, turn into like in-town traffic. Because you want to be like very cautious about, you know, I would say cautious, but you want to have a fast highway outflow. So just make sure you're, you know, doing a good job on that. Because if not, um, the backup will kind of spread onto the highway itself. And then that's pretty crippling. So, I mean, if this game, if nothing else, is like a really good traffic simulator. Okay. Let's now do a bridge going over the highway. So you can go either up by 9 or 12, so 3 or 4 little steps. 
I have this weird debate with myself. I think 9 is too little and 12 is too much. So sometimes I do 12 and I'm like, oh, that's too tall. And then I'll switch it to 9 and I'm like, nah, that's too short. So let's do 12 right there. Um, we're going 10 units right there. We can even do the same thing on um, on this side just for the old Sega symmetry, right? Kind of like backwards symmetry. Perfect. And if you do things by 10 meter increments or 10 unit increments, it just makes things like so much easier because that's like the generic default length right for the blue things to show up okay super simple but very efficient at the same time nice little on off system for our highway we got a way to kind of spill into our industry this will go down to a um, another set of streets so let's just kind of continue with that and you don't have to follow what i'm doing to a t you just kind of get the general idea you know so what you want is like a fast little turnaround point for your industry you want to keep your industry far enough away from the um, residents of the pollution and that kind of stuff doesn't really bug them. Because of the way we zone these streets, these ones here, we can't do any, um, or place those streets, we can't do any zoning on them. Because where do you come in from, right? Just the highway. So if you're in town, it doesn't make any sense to get back to there. So with that in mind, just, you know, create your neighborhoods based on that. So we're not going to spend too much. Can't get out that far. So let's maybe uh, leave that for when we buy the um, uh, the next tile over. Because you don't want to be making um, uh, intersections too close to one another. I usually leave 10 units as kind of like our, our minimum spacing. I'll kind of break those rules in like residential zones. But just like for industry especially. Don't put your traffic lights too close to one another. And then I was going to do just, I don't know something down here. Maybe a little dead-end street. I don't normally do dead-ends, but why not? Dead-end streets, I, I just don't find them overly efficient for um, uh, moving your services around. Okay, so this will be kind of like our main street. Think of it like that. A little bypass for the, uh, or backup for the highway. And then, kind of going with what I was saying with the spacing for the intersections, we'll just move that like that. Just spread that out. Still does its job though. And this is the layout I normally do when I start my city, so this might look a little bit familiar. I think I did this bridge a little bit differently, but we're trying to shake things up these days, right? And then we can just go down like this. Super simple, right? Doesn't have to be symmetrical. It's nice when it's symmetrical though. I'm only doing that for placeholder's sake, just so we can get that intersection to line up with that and it's the little things like you don't really notice that it's easy on the eyes like you really wouldn't think but then if that wasn't lined up it would just drive you bonkers you know so those kind of things i just like to do so again you don't have to be like perfectly symmetrical and if you even want to be kind of fun and creative check this out right now we're getting a little bit inefficient um let's make a curve that kind of flows with that so there's our point right so we know that there and the way we did that was we went out to about halfway and then curved in. So we'll do the same thing here, about halfway, and then we'll curve in. Now again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just that little bits of symmetry like that. They're just kind of easy on the eyes. And you don't realize you like it so much until you look at it. And this is terribly crooked. What have we done here? Goodness gracious. Me. Let's fix that. I just realized that's not a one-way road. That's no problem. We'll fix that in a sec. There we go. Don't know how that got so out of control, but glad we noticed that now. I'm sure someone at home was like, oh god. I got a million messages about that, right? Okay, so again, keeping an eye on our money. We spent a fair amount of it already. We're now going to start boxing this in. And this will be just like the generic area where you know, our city's going to kind of start, I guess, right? Go across with that. And you don't want to be too far away from an avenue. And you'll, you'll kind of see as I build the city why that's important stuff, right? Go like that. Like that. I mean, these roads, spacing's a little bit off, right? But that's not the end of the world. Okay. And then we could, oh yeah, we could probably do that as well, right? Look at that. Inadvertently, that all lines up nicely. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Okay. On to some services. 
So for power production from a wind standpoint, the maximum you can have is eight, eight megawatts. So let's find a couple of zones right here. Here's one. You can see when you put one down, it kind of you know, absorbs a little bit of the wind uh, potential energy right there. So you can't necessarily have a gazillion of them in one spot. You gotta space them out efficiently. Okay, get some power lines going. Put in some utilities. So you want your um, inflow pipe, like the uptake, your water going in, to be upstream from your outflow for what I hope are extraordinarily obvious reasons. You don't want sewage going into your uh, water, right? Your water system. So we look for um, the current. Those are those arrows right there. So definitely water intake over here, water outflow over there. And it's pretty dirty and terribly disgusting, so we'll eventually switch over to a treatment plan, which looks a lot nicer. Okay, so let's just follow, you know, some of the major roads. They're pretty easy for getting the zoning down. And you don't want to have too much overlap, because it's terribly inefficient, especially in a massive city. There, yeah, that works for me. There we go. I mean, luckily the pipes are underground, so they look hair, you know, hideous and terrible. You don't have to worry about seeing them too often, right? Okay. Get some power down to our utilities. These are the kind of things you want to just get out of the way really quickly before you do too much of your um, internal street layouts. And then I'll usually run like a power line, maybe like down the um, middle part of our little highway thing here. You can see we're kind of getting out of the wire here in terms of our, uh, our cash flow, right? So just to kind of help the power spread, let's do that. And we can probably just do, a, you know, not, not a lot, but maybe a couple more side roads on um, some of our areas. Yeah, we'll just leave that as it is, actually. Let's just do one more side road over here. Just one extra neighborhood. Cool. Because our budget will go into the negatives rather quickly, so we might as well just spend like literally every penny we have, otherwise it'll just go into the negatives, right? Okay, I think that's us. I think we're ready to go here. So let's zone up. Hope that everything, uh, hope everything works. I don't see why it wouldn't. If you want to be just extra safe when you're, that's weird when these zones don't line up. Um, just because the way the power is going to flow, let's maybe zone just the lower half first. And we'll do some commercial down here just to get things spread in. And we'll do a little bit more commercial. That's just to kind of help spread the, uh, the load. So what I was saying earlier about not being able to zone on these roads, uh, your maximum tile or like building size can be four by four. So if we go up by four, so you gotta take those out, right? So that's, you know, four right there, whatever, right? So four by four, so that's fine. And same with over here, right? Cool. Excellence. Love it. There we go. Perfect. Now we won't zone off our little um, highway thing. But I think that should be good for a start. And once more buildings come in and the powers kind of flow in properly, then we can zone the rest of the areas. So I'll put on three speed. You can just admire our handiwork. And man, I, I can't get over how like smooth the game runs without mods like I'm still pleasantly surprised by that because I mean everyone says that mods are so pivotal and you have to have them but like you really you don't I mean the game is so just playable right out of the box which is really nice these days right with so many you know games and whatnot just not really you know working too well needing updates and DLCs and all that stuff right we're off to a good start here so we should see some cars hopefully moving into our town pretty soon and then our industry should take uh, take shape. Because first your residents, well, first the houses get built, then the residents show up, and they need jobs and somewhere to shop and all that stuff. So, kind of see how the the RCI demand is kind of fueled, right? There we go. Working in industry, I love it. Um, okay, now that we got the power and stuff going without any hiccups, let's zone further. 
And then because this is like a little in-town mini highway, we don't want to get too close to it in terms of um, uh, like building, zoning, like that kind of stuff, right? So I always leave like a little corridor on both sides. And then, you know, through here, this little like four square space, we could always put like um, a rail line eventually. We can do like a little walking path, some bike lanes, just like, you know, room for like future development. Because you always want to, even right now, the city is so small, but we're already planning for, you know, for the future. You always want to be thinking about that. Can't be stuck in, in the past all the time. There we go. Expand on that. And this should be um, a pretty decent starting block just in terms of, like, getting us out of the negatives and stuff. So I don't think we have to worry about, you know, not getting into a, um, you know, positive budget or anything, right? So we'll leave it on three speed, put it back on our little cinematic view right here. I just kind of enjoy the uh, enjoy the ride. Yeah, so strange. I don't normally do these little uh, one ways. I think they're kind of weird too, having to watch like trucks and stuff, you know, turn around, right? So eventually, we'll just buy the next tile over and just kind of continue. But this is just a temporary spot for our industry, anyhow. Uh, I think as the city grows, we're gonna maybe go towards one of these little natural harbors, see if we can get some shipping and that kind of stuff done, you know. Because, yeah, this is just really just to get us off, off, off the ground and into a positive budget. Which we've achieved. So, good job, everyone. Good job, team. Okay, we have power. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. So, we're going to need a new power plant pretty soon. We've just um, unlocked uh, first of our services. So let's pause it just so we can kind of, like, gather our bearings. So, we've unlocked the first of our loans, which we will take because we're going to need it. We've unlocked the ability to do taxes, which we're going to implement. So, I usually think 12%. Is kind of like the number that you can just kind of push it without people being like, well, I don't know. If you do a lot of services, 12% works. But if you don't have a lot of services, people are like, I don't know. If you go 13%, 14% is too much. Too greedy. People move out. Okay, so we'll put, uh, put it back on three speed, sure. Watch our budget grow. But people will start to move out if you don't provide services. And, you know, I don't have to worry about the other ones we haven't locked them yet, right? But right now, healthcare, that's a must. You can even see the buildings that are, that one person might be sick over here. So we don't want our citizens to get, you know, sick and die. We need them. And so the other thing we unlocked was uh, landfill. And landfills, once you place them, are there until you empty them. And what I mean by that is... You know, I kind of have to show you. So let me find a spot for it. Yeah, I guess we'll just go up here. So once the first bit of, um, see right here, I can't move it, let's empty it even though it's 0%. I'm sure there's like one piece of trash. So when you get an incinerator later on, you can empty the landfill into that, and then you can move it or delete it. But for the moment, it's stuck where it is. So just be cautious of where you're putting it. Don't overlap an intersection that you want to expand on or that kind of stuff. Okay, so power. That was the other big one we wanted to get. We could buy some more turbines, but let's go for a, um, a coal power plant. We need the extra, extra bit of uh, gusto here. And that radius point is the um, uh, noise pollution it creates. You can kind of see like the headphone for the orange thing, right? So that means that these residents might even be a little bit too close. So I probably put probably should have put that in a better spot. But um, what we can do is just switch these guys out for commercial. And the commercial doesn't really, they don't mind the noise. And then because we displaced those people, we'll just put them back in elsewhere. There we go. Let's we'll double check pipes. Perfect. And yeah, we are motoring. I always like to go back to cinematic while things just kind of fill in. Quite like our little town so far. Very quaint. And so I think we'll eventually um, maybe upgrade this into like a, um, a clover leaf, and we can maybe stretch the highway kind of going up this uh, this bend. We have nine tiles we can buy, right? We only had our first one. We can get nine more of these things. Or eight more, I guess. Nine total. So, a long way to go. And then if you play with mods and stuff, you can get 25 or 81 tiles. Like, holy heck, right? Okay. Let's now do some expansion on our city. We need to get to the next population milestone and start unlocking some more stuff. Now, I don't... Remember earlier I was saying you don't want to be too far away from an avenue. Um, I'm not going to do, like, overlapping avenues like this way, right? I usually like to have maybe one or two kind of side streets in between them. So let's go down 
just any old amount. And then in terms of distance, I'm just kind of picking a number. Like we don't, like I know that 10 would be right around here. And you can tell if it's 10 if the um, squares match up. See how this lines up perfectly? So it's like that is 10. Oh, it's not, it's a lie. Oh gosh, everything I believe is a lie. Well, I don't know what I'm telling you, man. Maybe it's 12 that that's the, uh, the uh, what I'm doing. Well, either way. Oh gosh, nothing lines up. It's a terrible tutorial series. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so we're losing these power lines. Let's pause that just really quickly and we'll put those back in. And, um, actually, darn it. Um, let's run those this way. I like symmetry, like I said, so if I go from here, I'm not going to get too straight of a line, but there's hidden tiles. Like, if I go on a tile, right, on those zoning squares, you get symmetry. There's a line of them that's kind of hidden that you can still kind of use for symmetry behind. So we'll do that, just to run power into our thing. Connect to those. There we go. And we'll keep the, um, the game going while we're building this time around, just so we get more money coming in. And then another thing you could do, which we're starting to do kind of here, is um, you can expand on um, our little in-town highway. So maybe this can continue down like that. Maybe that one, ooh, where the village, all right. So same idea, I'm gonna pause it just so we can kind of gather our bearings, but let's just put in a few more rows first. Okay, so this maybe we'll wanna go down like that. This is a one way, so we gotta be kinda just cautious about where this ends up and, and whatnot, right? There we go, connect like that. But um, because it's a one way, like these are a little bit inefficient if they're this far spread apart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, see our spacing over here was two units. Let's do something kind of fun over here again, bring that two unit spacing back together. Okay, so let's maybe curve in, say from here downward, and then we can get rid of this intersection or like something like that, right? We can go, just for fun, we'll just pick any old curve, right? And you know what we can do instead, just we get some symmetry. Just go out like that, so that's straight. Go a bit further out like this. And we should be able just to curve that inward. Perfect. Okay, that's kind of fun. And then again with the whole, you want to keep that, you know, not too much space in between your intersections kind of thing. I don't really stick to that rule perfectly when I'm doing my side streets. I'm going to get rid of that though, just for the sake of it. But for some of my side streets not connected maybe to this little highway thing, I might kind of, yeah, have them a little bit closer together. Which is not the end of the world, because it's not really supposed to be a throughway. It's more so when you've got, um, how much space is that? Looks like about six tiles. Is that about right? Nope, not even close. Uh, I need somewhere like in between there. You see what I mean about trying to chase like perfect symmetry? Don't bother sometimes, you know? Of driving yourself a little bit too crazy. All right, that's good enough. Oh, it inadvertently lines up with that street, so that also was a nice bonus. Oh, that means we could have lined. Ha ha ha! There we go. Ha, ha, ha. See, you do these little things here and there, and you're you're happy for it in the end, right? Magnificent. Love it. And heck, just for fun, why not? Just to make our intersections a little bit crazier. Um, you want to be cautious though about having something like this without a traffic light. When you get a traffic light, you're gonna have to step up the um, one of the roads. So we can do this just for the sake of getting a traffic light. That'll help a little bit. Just kind of govern, you know, govern traffic. And if you hate how that kind of looks, upgrade. And maybe we can have a little shopping block where the uh, the roads get a bit wider there. Or we can do this. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. 
and you can kind of see if you follow like little rules right where you don't want to be too many roads away from an avenue it's like the city it just kind of in a weird way just starts to build itself you just kind of look and you just know what needs to go there that's kind of fun i like this i like this a lot and then you know these kind of things like you could just even bypass this right and what i mean by that let's back these up let's get these even again so let's go up by 10 perfect And then same idea, let's go out by 10. You'll kind of see what I'm doing here. All right. Up by 12. There we go. A little bridge to hop on over this. And we'll just change the old directorinos. Okay, that works. the right way should be that should be working right okay switch that in there we go excellent so that converges like that perfect these two-way traffic and we could do this but you don't even have to another thing we could do which is kind of fun so i'll just show you this really quickly guys is if we wanted we can make kind of like a weird roundabout. So we're gonna connect the four. We're gonna go out, say three by, eh, let's the, eh, you know, three by three is fine. So you can either count out by three or hit the five, go back by two, whichever you're, you know, more comfortable doing. And if we want to, what is that spacing by two, right? We can do this and make kind of like a boxed off roundabout. This is kind of cool. I think that doesn't look symmetrically right. Feels like something's kind of crooked about that, but I don't think so. I guess we're okay. Did I do that wrong? I don't know. I don't think so. No, it must be my imagination. We're okay. Now, why, I don't know. Something about that just doesn't seem right to me, but I'm sure it's fine. Um, and then this can kind of continue along down here, right? So you get room for growth. And then the way we have it structured, now we can attach a couple of streets like this we wanted to, right? We're about to run out of money, so we're going to have to press play soon. Got a little bit carried away, but it's all part of the fun. Yeah, I just actually wanted to keep the game running while we were doing this, but I wanted to pause it because we wanted to put down the services. That's right. Oh my gosh. Luckily, we have our second loan because we blew through all of our money. Okay, so let's put in some fire. We'll put one in uh, each part of town. Industry should have the priority if you're only going to put one down. They're more likely to just kind of start some fires. And then one police station is more than enough, just when things are kind of this small, right? And we'll put that maybe in a nice little central location in between the highways or something. And then schooling, definitely drop one down. Not an instant result. Your sims have to go to class and whatnot and get good grades and stuff, so it's a little bit of a slow, slow battle, right? Okay, so that's good. That is that. Everything else should be A-OK -okay for the moment. We can continue with our construction now. And then we can... Um, I think we got a road to line up with this. No, I gotta do the side ones, looks like. Okay. Looks like we gotta have some of this action, which is totally fine. Oh, okay, never mind. I was like, there is where the mistake is, but no, it's actually not. I really am just crazy. That's kind of interesting, right? We can make that like a little central park or something eventual, uh, eventually. Anyway, I think we're gonna, um,. End things off here, guys, but not a bad little start. Not a bad little start indeed, right? So if you're interested, come on back for episode two. And if you liked it, definitely hit the like button. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be going pretty far with this series. 
And uh, I do have some other um, cities and whatnot, some other content on the go. Uh, that kind of stuff's a little bit on hold right now, just um, until the whole um, Disasters um, DLC kind of comes out. So whenever a big game update comes out, it kind of you know mixes uh, mixes up some of the mods and stuff. So it's also partially why we're playing with the um, you know mod free experience. Anyway, guys, I'm Imperial Jedi. I appreciate you uh, hanging out with me, and uh, yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know what's going on, and I will see you guys in the next one. And feel free to make some suggestions all about that. And uh, yeah, if you got some cool stuff to share, definitely let me know too. All right, guys, take care. All the best. Happy building.